So let me show you some of the more advanced adjustments on the Nightroom's caster housing. Those procedures are necessary when you either have what we call a floating caster wheel, which means not all, um, not all four wheels touch the ground, or the chair veers to one side and you want to adjust straight run of the chair. <clears throat> you will need special tools for this adjustment. Both tools can be ordered through our online spare catalog. Let me show you how it works in theory. That's what's hidden inside the caster house. So we have what we call the barrel, which lets you adjust the caster fork angle. And then we have what we call the caster stem, which has a thread on it. If you turn it counterclockward, it will add height to the caster. If you turn it clockwards, it will reduce height. 360 degree rotation is always one millimeter of height on the caster wheel. You will always have to, um, to um, follow both procedures in a row, first adjusting the caster height and then adjusting the lateral caster angle. So let me show you how it works. Take the special tool, clip it on a wrench, and open the round knob. Can be pretty tight, so you might need some force for that. Once the round nut is opened, you can simply hold the bottom of the caster stem to rotate the caster stem. Remember, 360 degree rotation will add one millimeter to the caster height. Rotate it. until all four wheels, especially the caster wheels, touch the ground safely again. Now you've adjusted height of the caster wheel correctly. You will now have to con conduct a second procedure, which is the lateral angle um, of, the, of the caster fork. Both adjustments are combined. The caster stem is angled, that means if you um, rotate it 360 degree, you will achieve the same lateral angle, but if you rotate it somewhere in between 0 and 360 degree, the lateral angle of the caster stem will change, which means the fork moves to the right side or to the left side. You will have to adjust that now. We are using a special gauge for that. The only reason for that is that it indicates a 90 degree angle to the floor. That's what you need. Turn the caster wheel so that it's facing inwards and look for the flat spot on the caster fork. On that type of fork, it's here. On um, dual arm forks, it's in exactly the same position. Hold the gauge against the flat spot and you will probably find that it doesn't align. Use the spanner, insert it, and turn it by a maximum of 90 degree, and you will see the caster fork moving to the sides. Adjust it so that it exactly aligns with the 90 degree gauge which means that this plane has a 90 degree angle to the floor. Use the spanner to hold the position whilst you close the round knot. Start to tighten it by hand. Then again, use your wrench with a special tool. It's very important that you, you um, use a torque wrench to tighten it because you need to adjust it to a torque of 28 newton meters. Twenty-eight newton meters. Everything is back in place again. You can see that all four caster wheels touch the ground and the chair won't veer to one side again. After having done this procedure, 
you might want to check caster fault angle again because in many cases you need to readjust caster fault angle as well. This procedure can be found in another video.